Hey everybody, Dan John here from danjohnuniversity.com and of course danjohn.net. Uh, it's New Year's morning. Woke up a couple hours ago. My neighbors made a lot of noise all night. Uh, so today we start the uh, 10,000 Swing Challenge. I'm here in my basement because it's freezing in my garage. Literally freezing in my garage. Uh, so I'm also doing this Instagram Live. Uh, here I am. So if you want to join me, I'm going to do it the... Uh, the uh, the easiest way, just gonna do ten, uh, 500 swings. So I was 25. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do the style where you, you just go up to 500. Uh, nothing in between, no science, nothing fancy. And then what I'll do is generally in the morning I'll get up, do the 500 swings, uh, rest a while, and then do the do the normal workout. So that's one set of 25. So I only have uh, 9,975 uh, to go. So, you know, I'm right over the edge there. And good morning to all you people around the world. So I'm doing this on Instagram Live and I'm doing it for a video on YouTube. If you want to do the uh, swings, you'll notice I'm already breathing hard. So what I do is, uh, you know, you get up. I suggest on the challenge, weighing in every day measure your waistline and go and it's kind of fun because even without a change in diet good things will happen uh, the sheer volume of it so i'm about one tenth the way through today so here we go That's the whole thing. That's what you do. Uh, generally, I recommend, if, you know, you do push-ups, pull-ups, you can do dips, goblet squats, between sets, keep the reps really low. But uh, because I'm doing this just as a challenge, not as a training program, I'm not gonna work that hard. One of the things you'll notice over the 10,000 swings, is I won't breathe this hard <laughs> in a couple of weeks, I, ideally. Uh, there is a conditioning. Uh, when I do it like this, I don't warm up. I use the swings to warm up. Uh, when I finish, I will go upstairs and watch college football. 
all day long today, you know, for those of you watching later. Uh, it's January 1st, so it's a, it's a big day in American football, so. All right, should we uh, bounce into another one? Let's get to, let's get to 100. Only 9,900 to go, so that's exciting. Strong I suggest keeping a journal. When I do it, when I mix it with other exercises, I can never remember uh, what I did. Because, <laughs> you know, yeah, I have a very organized program, the original, where it's pretty easy to let the push up numbers or dip, whatever numbers keep you going, but if you're doing it this way, you just, uh, you could probably just count, you know, from one to 500 every day, but uh, it's just, it's easier to keep a little bit of track. So this is my basement. It's much bigger than you think it is. We can host about 40 people in here for dinner or more. Behind me, I have a, a map of the world with all the places I've been. That's a nice little poster of San Francisco. Uh, that's the uh, Galway when they won the, the Ireland and Hurling. That's the, all the guys signed the jersey. It's kind of cool. Merida from Braves over there. Harry Potter stuff is right there. My daughter's shrine. <laughs> uh, it's a nice place. It's a nice house. Okay. This is the, the beverage for high-end training. It's called coffee. That's my drug of choice. <laughs> okay, so one down, 400 to go. I always tell people how much grip strength I get from doing this. And since I haven't done swings in a while, I can really feel how much, how much I'm getting there. So Joshua, you probably missed the whole boat here. Uh, so it's the 10,000 swing challenge. So as I've said, I'm doing 500. So uh, let me show you a little bit. So, this is the other part of the room. This is the, it's a kind of fun little corner. These pictures are all taken by my wife. For those of you from around the world, you might even recognize your homes. Uh, Edinburgh, Stockholm, uh, Costa Rica, Galway, Wales, Sligo, Jamaica, Dublin with the ghost, uh, Norway, and of course, uh, Richmond. And behind it is where I teach. Uh, and then those are all just pictures of of, well, there's the Cliffs of Moore and Salt Hill, and then just as you, uh, across the area from the place, uh, what are those rings called? The, the little teeny, clot, clot rings, clot rings. Yeah. Hey, and a, and a very happy new, from Galway, who's this, who, who, what's your name from Galway here? Uh, I just showed a picture of Salt Hill and Clotta. Uh, you know, I spent a lot of time there. Uh, sadly, this year because of the cove. But uh, let me know what your real name is. And uh, 
Maybe in a couple months we'll, we'll hang out. So for those watching, I'm, I'm on live down here. Can swings be used for hamstring rehab? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I've already got a little pump going there. I don't know for rehab, but I think it would prevent a lot of injuries. Okay, so we're 125 down. someone want to be in my live video okay so now over here is the Harry Potter stuff there are the books my wife and daughter and there's me well, I shouldn't have a hat on those are high school graduation pictures uh, there's all the Harry Potter gear and some other stuff if you can see it that that was on top of our wedding cake when we got married in 1988, so good for us. I think this might be a little better angle. Let's, maybe not. Okay, so 150, and Amir. Oh, what are you talking about? One thing that will help you a lot is don't think of the numbers, just do them. I'm gonna have to cut back to lower reps. I'm really cramping up my wrists. That's 175. Oh good, I have a new member of the university. Uh, Eddie, I can't yet read your full thing. It hasn't, there it goes. You bet, Eddie. You're more than welcome. Okay. So I'll do it. Let me get to let me get to 200 fast. I'll do a set of 10 here. When I first came in here, this room was cold. Weird, it's got hot. So I'm just trying to get the 200 right now. Because uh, I haven't done a single thing to pre prepare for this. I just lifted normally. I haven't done a swing in, uh, outside of a few oh, here and there. I probably haven't taken swings seriously in oh, two or three years. Because, you know, I Olympic left and I do those other things. But uh, swings are. I once said they're a fat building athlete builder, and that might be one of the most famous quotes I have. So, we have more live questions. Awesome job. We'll start on Monday. Okay, I'll be here for you. I haven't done one of these in years. Even well, good, for, good. I wish you guys would use your real names, but that's okay. I get it. You guys want to be anonymous. I had a, my mentor as a, as an administrator, one senior Fitzgerald, told me something about anonymous. Anything that's anonymous, throw it out. It doesn't matter what it is. If, it, if a package shows up and it's got pictures of one of your instructors sh shooting kittens in a forehead, if it doesn't have a name on it, you throw it out. 
Uh, what do we got here? Michael, thanks for the thumbs up. Coffee. Coffee. That's what's for breakfast. Okay, for those of you who've been paying attention, what error did I make when I first started? The correct answer is, I started with sets of 25. <clears throat> and that roasted my forearms a little bit. Well, Happy New Year to you, Robert. It's... Ah, good. Get that five-year-old doing that. I'm a big fan of it, of course. What the hell are you talking about, William? Phrase that better, William. Only jackasses go up to here, William, okay? So, if you're doing that so-called American swing, please unfriend me. Uh... Don't, don't ever use my name ever. <laughs> the American Swing may be the stupidest thing ever done. If you're going to put it up here, you snatch it. <sighs> okay, let's do five sets of 20 to get 300. Like I said, this room is so cold when I got down here. It's so warm now. Man, swings every day are adjusting. I'm doing the five, I'm doing the 10,000 swing uh, challenge, man. I'm amazed how many people talk about the 10,000 swing challenge. And then I'll do it and I'll get all, all these questions like, what are you doing? It's like, 10,000 swing challenge. Never heard of it. That's just weird. Outstanding New Year. Yeah, you make sure you train that boy how to hinge and squat. Well, question here. It's a 10,000 swing challenge. It's, don't do it if you're a beginner. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but it's like, Dan, I want to run a marathon. What should I do? Well, <laughs> run a marathon. Well, I can't do that. Well, run something less, yeah. Sorry, American swing. I just thought close to chest. Well, here's the thing. When I plank, ooh, got a little thigh, thigh shot there. A little extra fry. When I plank, that's where I plank. So when I finish my kettlebell swing, that's where I finish it. Now, today, because I'm not yet grooved, it's probably not as high because I'm not, I'm not hinging as hard as I will in about three weeks. Sorry, America. Happy New Year to you, too, my friend. All right. <clears throat> it's kind of interesting to have a dialogue doing this. Usually I'm alone. I'm so alone. <laughs> you know why you're alone? That's a good... Okay, I'm going to come right back to that. Set of 20 to get me to uh, uh, to halfway. Uh, so, so I was about to say something. Uh, did this this magazine called Letterman came out when I was in high school, and they had this great pre-football season training program, and a whole bunch of us at South City decided to do it. And uh, say like week six, you were to put on your new cleats. Uh, Uh, 
and the break-in for the cleats was to run 20 laps around a track, which is in America was five miles. And of course, you can do the math uh, with metric. And the day I did that, about eight of us started, but I was the only one to finish. Uh, but that's about right. About 80 of us started the program, six to eight of us showed up on that day, and one of us finished, and that's kind of a, I'm sorry, that's kind of a life lesson, I think. Uh, that's a life lesson. You know, when I did the Velocity Diet, everybody wanted to join me with it, but very few people lasted the second day. I'm not saying I'm superstar or anything, I'm just saying that challenges are challenges. Yeah, you think I want to do this? No, hell no. I hate the 10,000 Swing Challenge. The crappy thing is when I finish today, I'll have 9,500 to go. And I, I don't want to do any of them. I'd much rather be upstairs drinking coffee and watching uh, college game day for football. <clears throat> okay, set of 20 gets me halfway. <sighs> See, my forearms aren't as strong as they are. They used to be because, you know, now I'm married. A lot of people ask me if uh, you should try to go through as fast as you can and I think there's wisdom and time in it but I think if you race to chop off a couple of minutes but your technique gets worse I think you might be really uh, uh, I think you might be really you know the way to the old phrase cut off your nose in spite of your face despite your face so I would never suggest a lot of people say damn I did I had the 300 pound kettlebell and I did the 500 swings in eight minutes I'm like okay you know who cares uh, how are the hamstrings feeling they feel good you know I pulled that hamstring was it in the summer uh, I pulled my hamstring uh, I have a good uh, deep tissue massage guy and he says that basically I have these two trigger points that are it's right in the middle of the belly of the hamstrings. He's, and I said, is there anything you can do about it? And he said, yeah, uh, go back to when you were 10 and you know, don't do so many sports. And so yeah, good, good advice. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just, the thing about the hamstring folks is that, you know, you, uh, what we were taught, whether it's true or not, the hamstring works as a, uh, well, as a connective tissue, like a tendon and ligament, but it also is a muscle. And I just sometimes will, you know, act up on some people. Okay, halfway. I'll crush out a couple sets of 10 to get the 300. Okay, so that's 260. It's feeling good. It's feeling good. Uh, what I'll do in the next couple works, I have a, a vibrating plate over there, a vibrating plate, and I might do some balance work on it at the next next training session. You know, I'm 63. One of the things you want to do as you age is uh, keep pushing. It's interesting. I'm, I'm doing balance exercises, not you know, not for my biceps, but I'm doing them to remind my brain about complexity, make things more complex. <clears throat> the problem with the 10,000 swing challenge uh, is that you do one groove 10,000 times, which really has value. But at the same time, as you age, your body requires uh, more and more. Uh, uh, challenges that's why it's so important uh, you keep playing chess and uh, uh, connect four connect four is a great game uh, because every time the, the thing drops down the game changes uh, somebody told me Sotoku 
I like chess problems more than I like chess games. You know, mate and three or mate and eight kind of stuff. I'll answer this question real quick. Uh, your inspiration, Dancy. 16K. Uh, encore. Uh, okay, so we've got black friend Encora. So translate that name for me, Encora du, du Farm. Uh, Encora, is it? But you spell Cora different than Frienders, I think. Translate that for me, okay? And let me know if you're male or female. Uh, what you'll notice if you watch uh, the black sheep thing okay thank you my friend if you've been watching you probably picked up that my techniques improved probably by every round because the, I'm starting to loosen up you know it's early in the morning here it's freezing cold it's New Year's morning so I got some I have a right to uh, be a little stiff so you'll notice in the last round how this started this is starting to open up as I finish so I'm not running into a brick wall I'm boom bringing that pelvic bowl underneath <clears throat> this is uh you know I'm sneaking up on 300 swings I've been doing kettlebells a long time I've been lifting since 1965 but it takes a while to lube things up so I guess there's a moral for those of you who are coaches. Uh, for those of you who are coaches, I mean, I've got a lot of experience, a lot of water in the bridge, and it takes me a while to get back into a movement. Well, thank you so much. Uh, noble, happy, whole, happy health. God, I wish you guys would use names. Be sure you put your name in these, okay, so I can not talk to you with your with your nicknames, okay? Uh, stay hingy, my friend. Thank you. Okay, so this should, if I'm right, a set of 25 will put me at the the Spartan number. Boom. <clears throat> yeah, I said that. Finished Mass Made Simple. Good boy. Good. Uh, did you get to 50 reps uh, on the last day? <sighs> Thank you, Amanda. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? You know, for those of you, so which you might not, I'll turn to the side for a second. But what happened is, because I was stiff and cold, I was, I wasn't really greasing the, the finish, you know, which, which can happen. So we call that snap and the capacity to do snap. When you put those together, snapacity, go through severe elbow tendonitis. Uh, whoever this is asking for elbow tendonitis, I just use everything. And thank you very much. Uh, uh, if you got elbow tendonitis, work your work your legs, your butt, your back as hard as you physically can, as best you can, and the magic juju of the hormones will help everywhere. Whole happy health, doing 50 reps with body weight—that's pretty good. I, you know, I've only done it. 
you know, with, I think my record is body weight is 51, and I literally went to 50 and did one more. I, I don't, uh, my most impressive squats are much, uh, they're just different. Uh, okay, let's get back. So 300, uh, I'm gonna do uh, 10, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, I'll just, I'll just do them. So 325. Good stuff. <sighs> Nicely done. I can't read who that is, but 50 year old female squatting body weight for 50. Great work. Uh, question here about more Olympic lifting meets. Yeah, if they come up, yeah. You know, it's been tough. But like I told the meat guy, I can't lift on rubber floors anymore. I have to lift on wood. So that'll be the deal breaker for me. These rubber floors with my lifting boots, I don't have the ability to jump <laughs> like I used to with those big weights. And man, my knees were killing me after that. Because I couldn't use my, I couldn't squat or anything with them. Coach, what is the benefit I just answer this. I swing your bell up to, I don't know what the question is. Okay, 325. I'm always amazed how much people spend on the time on the internet and all they do is find the stupid shit instead of the, the good stuff. <laughs> These people, they'll find, the guy can't even do a, person can't even hinge, okay? So let's stop it. So the person can't even do a hinge, but you know they'll be they'll be all like, uh, Dan, uh, should I take the you know should I be doing these rotating swings? No, you fool! <laughs> you can't even hinge. Uh, so I hope that helps. <sighs> is there any benefit? Uh, yeah, I mean, if this is your plank, if it's if that's your plank, then do it that high. Uh, this is really high, Rudy. Sure, sure, Rudy. In fact, uh, I'll do my best to maybe even post what time I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm doing it right now because I want to spend my whole day watching football. And uh, uh, we have about 300 pounds of meat upstairs. So it's going to be a, a, a lot of food and a lot of football today. So hopefully I'll, that's why I want to get this out of the way. Okay, so 325, let's go. It's weird. As cold as this room was, it's freaking hot now. My hands are getting slick. I feel like poo today. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's great. That's great. Ah, it's nice to have some people swinging with me. Uh, one of the reasons Brian asked me to do this was just for this. So if people want to swing along. Well, John asked me to speak about my last one. Well, this is like, what, the fifth? 
and more. I've done a couple. The hardest one I've ever done was when I tried to do Dan and Mary Eads, E-A-D-E-S, the Middle East makeover diet. So you start the day with a protein shake with coffee, you know, co coffee protein shake, and then two more protein shakes in a day, and then one normal adult meal, you know, like uh, protein and veggies. So I was pretty strict doing the 500 swings. That's the worst I've ever done. Um, I know this though, you know, if you ever really wanted to lose, huh, if, you had, if, if you said, Dan, in 28 days, we need you down to 198, I'd probably do the Middle East makeover, the, the Middle Age makeover, and then climb this mountain over here called Mount Olympus every day. It's about a three to six hour round trip. Uh, because we, if you read the numbers, walking up and down hill at two to three miles an hour, or maybe less of the steep parts, uh, that's the most inefficient thing you can do. Uh, uh, but, uh, but the, the originals, the original challenges when we were first putting it together, the first 30,000 swings or so, those were much harder because I was, I was just, I was learning it on the fly, you know, trying to write an article for T Nation. So that was hard for me because, you know, um, you know, it, it was kind of uncharted waters. I'm not putting myself up there with the Vikings or the Celts or the, the, the Minoans or anything, but you know, it's, it's kind of hard to, to, to figure that stuff out. Happy New Year to you, my friend. Thanks, Robert. All right, 350. Let's get to 400 as fast as possible. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh, buns. Where's Brett? Here, Brett Contreras. <laughs> Did you see Brett's post today? <laughs> my favorite place on Instagram. The nice thing is I don't have the dog down here farting. He's upstairs. Oh, I tell you, that kills the workout. Kettlebell Arctics? Is this the 10,000 swings challenge in one month challenge? Of course. Yeah. tired so if you guys are lucky maybe I'll start to, uh, uh, if I start leaning out a lot I'll do it with my shirt off and then we're get my leopard print thong out again for the last few days I'll even shave up for you guys okay let's get this thing's ass let's get the 400 and then you know I had a light bulb go out. If you want, I'll keep this on while I fix it. I would suggest keeping fairly good notes. I would say, if you can, now we know it's not a, everything I'm about to say, I don't necessarily agree with 100%. Uh, problem number one this, 
The 10,000 swing challenge is a very uh, top-down model. It's a challenge. So you're doing 10,000 swings. So there's no, there's no natural rhythm. There's no chaos. Uh, there's no, you know, there's no, how do you explain it while you're tired? Uh, it's, it's very industrial revolution style. You know, you will do this until you're done. Uh, having said that, that's why I think it's so important on the challenge to weigh in and measure waistline every day because, I mean, what you'd like to see is, I don't know how much your waistline will come down, but if you're, if you don't change your diet and you lose centimeters or inches off your waistline, you lose pounds or kilos off the scale, well, then 500 things a day is obviously that total inefficient exercise of the swing is, is obviously helping you. Um, the, the, the inefficient exercise is helping you lose, well, the weight, and ideally if it's waistline coming down fat too. Uh, if at the end of the 10,000 swing challenge uh, and you kept your diet the same, there are no changes, then I'd really have to question your <laughs> how you swing. But also too, I mean, you know, maybe there's, there's some other things you need in your training. Uh, remember, challenges are only done, uh, uh, challenges are challenges, you know. When you finish it, you put the bell down, you walk away and say, yes, I did that thing. Um, the challenges are not programs. I don't make that point out enough. Well, thank you for all the hearts there. I don't, uh, I don't make the point on that enough, that a challenge is radically different than a workout. Um, it's a hard lesson. Uh, it takes a while. Okay, uh, we're at 400. Let me see if I can crush these next 100 out, and then I'll fix that light bulb. Uh, it's kind of fun. Something always happens. Uh, one time I broke my clock in one of these. Uh, my dog will fart sometimes and just about kill me. Uh, this time the light went out behind me. You know, maybe I'll do is do the challenge in different rooms in the house and give you the tour. So this is the, the downstairs living room. It's one of my favorite spots in the world. Ideally, my hands won't be so greasy. What weight am I using? Generally, I use a 24, but I decided to have a break in of a few days with just a 20. You know, I'm 63, man, give me a break. I'm 63, it's New Year's morning. Uh, it's freezing, uh, give me a break. Is that Jim Hooper from Newport? How you doing, Bray? You doing them also? Huh. Is that Danny McCarthy from uh, the Test Fest in LA? And Jim Hooper from Newport? That's kind of cool. It's nice to know, actually know. See, if you guys use your real names, then I'll know who you are. Uh, uh, the, the question jumped through real quick, John, but what I got is, what I'll be doing is, after the 10,000 swings, uh, Seth Rosenberg's coming out to, to do them with me. So we'll either do them in the afternoon together, but in the morning at 9.30, Monday, Wednesday, hypertrophy, Tuesday, buns and guns, Thursday, tonic, and then Friday, loaded carry. 
That's good to hear. Jose, kick ass, okay? I love it when people say things like, I use a 32 kilo bell and it's easy for me. Eh, good for you, aren't you? Aren't you better than the rest of us? Nice. Yeah, you make a good point, you know, as a world champion in one sport and national champion in three, Fulbright scholar, you know, professor at two different schools, you know, it's nice to be one-upped on my own Instagram account, so I appreciate that. Um, what was that? Oh, that's sarcasm. What can I do? Falcon, I don't know you. Well, what can you do? You can be nice to your neighbor. Um, context, like these spin downs, I, any context on these. Much better. Oh, 50 to go. Whew. Oh, 50 to go. No, yeah, I'm fasting, yeah. Dude, it's so early in the morning, of course I'm fasting. Uh, part of my intermittent fasting, guys, isn't heroic. It's just I can't eat before I work out. So I push my... Jim, I just finished 450. But uh, if you see the early ones versus the later ones, you'll see that I've... Well, A, I haven't been swinging in months, Jim. And then uh, months, hell, maybe years. Uh, and... Uh, the, the early morning tightness is making me, uh, uh, I, I felt like that last set, I was finally getting my hip flexors to relax and my glutes are finally really doing the job. But for those of you who are trainers, I wish you'd listen. No, I'm not hungover, fuck off. Uh, so, uh, yeah, only, only rookies drink on New Year's. Uh, um, yeah, I... It, Oh, that's got to be a, uh, uh, one of my St. Mary's students, man. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in June, man. Let's just make it happen. Um, but, Jim, so for me, uh, the, the, A, the lack of swinging, and then just the general warn oh, morning stuff. Uh, that's a T-shirt. Yeah, it's a Calvin Klein one. Yeah, I only wear Calvin Klein or I wear nothing at all. Okay, 50 more. Which one's it? What's the t-shirt? Uh, quote what the t-shirt would be and I'll have my guy make one. Okay, still though, let's get together. I miss going to see you guys. This is my son-in-law's stocking. So, it's weird to see my hands get so sweaty here. Okay, so we've got uh, 25 to go, and then that'll be it, and then tomorrow I'll come back and do it again. Uh, 
If you want to join me, maybe I can figure out a time uh, to do it. Uh, I'm excited about today. Uh, it's uh, like I told said earlier, it's a big day, big day in American football. So I'm looking forward to my, the Georgia Cincinnati game. It's gonna be, I, I think, the best one of the day. But what do I know? Uh, so if you guys want to join me, I'm gonna do 500 swings a day for 20 days, but I'll also continue to train. Uh, well, uh, normally. Uh, and uh, it's a challenge. I'm doing it because people on my Dan John University have asked me to join them. I'm also helping Jeff Hemingway's uh, challenge. Uh, I have to get my ass moving 500 sounds. Okay, Jim. Well, and Jim, by the way, that's, that's really early for you, man. So, uh, so like I said, though, in a couple weeks, I'll have my shirt off when I do these, you know, I'll be all ripped. I'll be like one of those Instagram influencers. I'll tell you that eating 30 bananas a day are the secret. Oh, and I, I love those guys that tell you all their dietary secrets and you find out later that they're, they're on testosterone <laughs> or, you know, all kinds of things. And there's a couple of really famous people uh, that corrects me out. Oh yeah, it's this magic drink I'm taking. Oh yeah. And the fact that I get injected three times a week. All right, this is the last set of swings. Uh, hopefully, if my hands stay relatively dry. <clears throat> and for those who've been watching, you'll notice these last swings have been miles better. Uh, one issue is that I wanted to show some from the side. I don't know if they're in the camera as well, but you know, hey, it's free. You get you know, get busy. I lose a bell in my living room, my wife will kill me. Five hundred. I forget how to say it. Go, Kui, Besh, Cinco. Five hundred. So there you go, it's day one. Literally in the book. Uh, today I won't be doing anything else. On the other days, I will uh, get something, maybe get something to eat and, and do the workout with Mike and Seth and Mike and Mike and Mike and Mike and Cole. Uh, other days, I might work out in the morning, eat, and then do this in the afternoon, okay? Challenge exec, okay. My, uh, uh, do you pronounce your name Milo or Milo? Uh, <laughs> no bull fit. Do people get that joke? Uh, hey! Uh, uh, Gurna, is the garage too cold? <clears throat> you have no idea, man. Uh, remember I was telling you the one time I trained in, in uh, uh, minus two? No. No, 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 no. Oh, what is that? No, I train in like minus five and six. Uh, <laughs> and you said Fahrenheit and I said no Celsius. <laughs> Yeah, my, it gets a little cold here. Are you fasting after this session? I'm going to fast until I eat, okay? Uh, and then I'll stop fasting. All right, guys. Hey, that's it for me. Uh, as always, I'm Dan John from danjohnuniversity.com. And, uh, uh, and danjohn.net. So this is day one of uh, 20 workouts, um, 10,000 swing challenge, 500 a day. Yes, I will be doing other things. Uh, Diet-wise, I will probably, I certainly think I'm going to have about, I'm going to really cut back my alcohol a little bit, um, especially after uh, the la later part of January, for a good reason, because I won't have to drink so much. Uh, as my friend Jerry and I used to joke, I drink to forget, and then Jerry would say, I drink to remember to forget. So, all right, hey, love you guys. Uh, as you know, uh, I'm a, so we got a Milo. Yeah, okay. 
That's great, Milo. That's that's just great. Yeah, Milo, Milo. I've heard it a couple different ways. All right, guys. And I will stay strong and healthy. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.